Alright, I think this day last year was the day that I did a few jobs in the morning and then I went back to Warland, Wyoming to work at the feedlot. Because uh, too many guys from that south crew kind of dropped and they needed one more guy. But, uh, so. Oh, there's a doggy. Oh, what do we got here? Oh, almost looks like Albert. Little brown tail on his butt. Is that a llama? That's a llama. Oh. Oh, look I, at that. Dog. I bet that llama's name is Carl. Maybe it's <laughs> Albert's brother. Carl? I don't think you're going to fit. Quiet. Yeah. What job is this today? What number? Uh, two. This number is two. Two? Okay. Yeah. yeah, one more after. One more. One more. Okay. Hopefully one more.
Sometimes sheep become best friends with cows. Job number two completed. Money symbol. Third job. Good dog. It's a good dog. Right, job well done today. Three three jobs. Total of 63 head shorn. It's better than nothing. Okay, let's go home. You guys died. Get out of here. <laughs> look it, look it, we got. So what you saw there was us doing three jobs in one day. And um, so we drove there, set up, sheared, tore down, drove to another spot, set up, sheared, tore down, and did that one more time. And uh, <clears throat> that's kind of just the sheep game now here out in the West. Um, in, in between big jobs, there's always a bunch of small flocks out there in one area so it's kind of like what you have to do and um, it's not like in the old days like the early 90s or the 80s where there were just 10,000 head of sheep here and there and you just stayed in one spot for a week straight and just sheared um, everything changed when the soul when the wool subsidy was uh, removed and um, and as time progressed, you know, laws changed on BLM lands and regulations to protect animals, plants, and it just made it really hard for the rancher to ranch on public land. So now we have been reduced to just small flocks here and there, but it's still work. Sheep are shorn and everybody's happy. <clears throat> and so now 
it is now March, so Febu February, the month of February has passed. And um, the month of February, um, it was not what I was hoping it was. Um, that about two week spell of very, very cold air kind of put a damper on my numbers and how much money I wanted to make in this month. So out of the 28 days of February, um, I only sheared about, not about, I only sheared 12 of those days. Um, February 1st and 2nd, you know, that was still coming off the early run in January. So got those two days. And then there, and then a week later, we were supposed to start the feedlot in Wyoming where there's 10,000 head. But because of the cold, that was postponed until like until better weather was forecasted so um the contractors i work for they know another contractor in southern wyoming that needed some guys so i drove down to southern wyoming sheared a few sheep there drove back up to the feedlot in, in northern wyoming and just kind of hung out there for another week and then before i knew it got the phone call say hey seamus we need to start shearing up north so see you later and um so i got to miss out on the feedlot lambs which i was hoping to uh shear on the black faced lambs because they shear pretty well normally or with coarse wool it's, e it's easier to shear and um at the beginning of the season i had my goals of uh average 120 a day high tally 150 but after the first week where i was already averaging 120 pace um, I saw that I needed to set better goals. So after the first week of shearing in January, I set new goals of 150 pace and 200 head high tally for a day. And, and the only job that I really thought I could probably hit 200 head was on the feedlot, but now I'm not doing that. But some other things, some other great things happened in the month of February. Like, um, I sheared a full eight hours not quite a full eight hours but sheared pretty much a full day finally and I knew that I would destroy my high tally of 118 from before and I destroyed it by a lot I sheared a high tally of 180 um, I remember after after the first run so it runs about two hours sheared 42 I was like huh that was pretty smooth shearing for these sheep I bet if I push hard I could I could uh, get close to 200 and 180 you know it's kind of close but not really that close but um, yeah that's definitely new territory for me um, high tally of 180 from 118 to 180 that's a huge jump just uh, so um, you know you can cheer at a pace and it's all speculation until you actually do it so I finally did it cheered 180 in a day and um, I, maybe by the end of the season, I could hit that 200 mark on some really nice shearing sheep. There's still plenty of time for that to happen. But, um, so to add up the numbers that I sheared, got my handy dandy calculator with everything already done. Um, so I sheared a total of 1,129 head. And for just a quick calculation of how much money I made, um, I made about $3,400 in the month of February. Um, I actually made more in the month of January, but because of that couple of weeks of really, really cold weather, they really put a damper on, you know, my goals of shearing sheep and making money. So um, things that you can't control, you just got to let it go and just, and just go with it. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, uh, please like it, and if you enjoy my content, please subscribe because the shearing season is just beginning. Oh yeah.